Okay, so Christmas is coming in. Uh, your wife is telling you you're not able to start mining, or you really think like, hey, I don't want to start and build a huge mining rig. Well, you don't really have to. You can also start building your mining rig by just having an old computer. So I still have a really old computer that's about 10 years old. It was my first gaming PC, that is where it all started. I overclocked the CPU and that's how all the stories go. But really shortly, I can help you turn a really old computer into a mining rig. gonna grab this muck because I can't. So today's video is gonna be about... It's, it's like... I don't know, how do, how do I say this? Okay, so the point is, we're gonna turn an old gaming computer, or it could be any computer though, and we're gonna turn it into a mining rig because your wife is telling you you're not able to do the mining rig, or they call it a fishbowl like my girlfriend does. So, what are we gonna do here is I'm gonna explain you how to turn a really old computer into a mining rig because most of you guys are not able to build a complete mining rig from scratch and it's pretty hard to do. So, building it from an old computer, we can use the parts that are already in the computer to start making the mining rig. So it's gonna be really simple. We need to do, we need to do a few upgrades, of course, but I'm gonna try and explain this to you guys because this is going to be mostly common for all of you. So, the old computer does have some parts already that we don't need to buy to turn it into a mining rig because it already has a CPU, it already has a power supply and we're gonna try and use these things to drop down the cost of making your first mining rig. So, I'm gonna cover the basics of mining in this video, I'm gonna cover how to turn the machine into a mining rig and so on. So I hope this is going to be really nice for you guys and you can make a Christmas present out of it or a secret mining rig so your wife is like, why is the computer always on? You're like, um, nothing, it's just fine, it's just making some heat for us. So hopefully this is going to be a video for all of you guys and it's really a nice starting experience as well at the same time. So enjoy the video and hopefully you're gonna learn something out of it and you can turn yourself into a mining farm builder. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna give you some basic mining requirements to turn your old computer into a mining rig. So first of all, you'll need a monitor or a screen. You probably have it already, so you can use your old monitor. But keep in mind that some graphics cards need a HDMI connector, but you can buy some converters for that from VGA to HDMI. That's not a big deal. Next up, you'll need a power supply that you can use Keep in mind you can use your old power supply or you'll do an upgrade because you want different or more graphics cards inside your mining rig. There are graphics cards that only use 50 watts of power but you also have graphics cards that use 200 watts of power while mining. So determined of what GPU you will choose there's multiple ways to go. The CPU of the computer has to be very high end. I'm just kidding. You can use your old CPU, it's no big of a deal, it just makes everything a little bit slower, but you can use your old CPU. It's always nice to do an upgrade of about $50, but I wouldn't recommend it because that's an old computer, you can overclock it, make it a little bit faster. On number 4, you will need at least 4 gigabytes of RAM in order to start mining, so you will probably have to upgrade. We have a kind of a little bit of a problem, we have DDR2 memory, so it's gonna be really expensive to get 4 gigabytes of RAM, because in these days it was really expensive to have 4 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. But I think these days it's gonna be really damn cheap. But if you're gonna go for a Vega, you will need about 8 to 16 gigabytes, and I don't think we're gonna be able to do that for this computer. Number five, we need to do about 100 gigabytes of storage and I would recommend an SSD inside it. But you can use your old storage if you want to, but it will make the process a little bit faster if you're using an SSD. It will speed up the mining loading times, it will speed up the driver installs, it will speed up windows, it will speed up just everything. So it's really recommended to buy an SSD. 
Number six, the graphics card, and the options are going to be explained in the next part. But you can go multiple ways here, as I explained before. We have a 350 watt power supply, so it just limits us to a six pin power connector. On number seven, we have the motherboard. You can use your old motherboard, but this will also limit your choice of GPUs that we can put into our system. Like we do, we have a single, why a single GPU? Why did I buy that in these days? But we have a single GPU slot that we can put into the computer. And we also have a single PCIe 1 slot that we can put a second GPU into, but then we'll need to be making use of a riser. But because we have only a six pin connector, we can just hook up one GPU in order that we have to upgrade it to make more GPUs out of it. So we're going to go for the cheapest option here. We're not going to upgrade our power supply. We're just going to limit ourselves to a graphics card and that's it. But next up, you can use your old Windows as well. If you have Windows 7, Windows 10, you can probably use it. And that's actually all you needed to have for a basic mining rig. Okay, so now that I covered the basic mining requirements where you probably didn't get any of it, well, I'm gonna try and explain it with this video series and show you how it's done in order to get it all going. So the basic mining steps is the next thing you'll need. So on the miner or computer itself, you will need to do a few things to get started on mining. So first of all, get a wallet address of the coin you want to mine. Uh, for example, Ethereum, Zcash, Monero, Intense Coin. It also depends on which GPU you're gonna pick. So that's gonna be the next step I'm gonna explain. So installing a wallet, can be done on a phone like the, the applications of free wallet i'm really a fan of those or wallets on a pc like my ether wallet and so on intense coin also has wallets on the pc itself so you will need to be installing that and it should look like this really odd numbers and letters across each other this is for example a bitcoin address but you'll get the thing okay so number two you need to get a gpu for the coin you want to mine so this is so difficult for everyone else because everyone has a different system. So I'm not really able to do this for you, but you'll need to try and figure it out yourself on the hints I'm going to give you. So you can do some Ethereum mining, Zcash mining, Monero mining, and all GPUs are slightly different. So you are limited to your old computer. For example, I'm going to show you my ID. We have a six pin power connection. We can only use about 60% of the 350 watt power supply. And that's about 210 watts. And you may think like, hey, why can you only use 60%? Well, that's actually the sweet spot of all power supplies in the world to be the most efficient. So this is going to save you a few watts if you limit yourself to the 60%. And it's also going to increase the lifespan of your power supply. But if you are limited to your six pin power connection and only 210 watts, you say, yes, we are limited to a GPU. If we don't upgrade the power supply, we are limited to the single six pin VGA connector we have. For example, if you're going to use an AMD Vega, it has two eight pin connectors, so we cannot use that. We need to upgrade our power supply. But if we want to go to the least amount of money we're going to put into this computer, we're going to limit ourselves to a six pin power connection card. So we need to find that graphics card. You can always go on buried1.com and you can see like which graphics card is the best at which specific coin, as you can see here below. Uh, you can see the full size image on the website and you can pick out your graphics card like AMD, GeForce or Vega versions of AMD. And you will see like, hey, there's really high end graphics cards that use like 250 watts. But for example, an RX 550 is only going to use 50 watts. So you can really like base yourself like, hey, I can only use 200 watts. I can upgrade until an RX 580, but I cannot have the 8-pin connector it has. So I'm limited to my 6-pin power connection. I have to go a tier down and so on. So you will have to figure it out yourself on what graphics card you need. But I would mostly recommend you to buy uh, like mid-end graphics cards. So we could use an RX 470. It has a 6-pin power connector and it uses 120 watts at mining. And uh, that's why I recommend you buying RX 550s, 560s, GTX 1050s. 1050Ti's or GTX 1060's because they have really low power usages and I'm really sure you guys can use one of these graphics cards and start building some experience on mining. So you don't have to buy the most expensive graphics card just to get started on mining because 
when you're more and more of an expert like uh, you tried out some different coins in mining and you did some minor setups and whatsoever you're gonna teach yourself to go bigger you don't have to go full size in one go because i started out with my gaming computer at first with my gtx 970 so this is like a learning experience and you can just grab some really good cards like 1060s or 1070s if you're really confident that you're gonna do some really good things but this was really the basic of getting the choice for a GPU but keep in mind if you are limited to your power supply like we do we're gonna save up some money with it like we're using our old power supply we're gonna save this money and we're just gonna limit ourselves to it and that's actually what the video is about okay so we're gonna buy two thermal take 120 millimeter ring fans because the old ones are really noisy and not really that fast and we're gonna verify this machine so we're even gonna buy three of these Okay, so we're gonna go with this Asus AMD Strix RX 470 because I know this graphics card has a 6-pin connector. I've got some in the past and they're really good, they're really efficient. So this is going to be the graphics card I'm going to be buying. Okay, so in a total we ordered the GPU, we ordered the new RAM sticks of 4GB and we are going to upgrade some thermal take fans. So we came to a 280 pounds. And I'm gonna go on coin wars or what to mining. I'm gonna try and show you guys how long it would take to have some return of investment. Like how long it's gonna take us to return this investment of this graphics card upgrade on our old gaming PC. So you guys can see how long it would take for this old computer to be a return of investment. Okay, so when we fill in 27 mega ashes per second for this graphics card into the Coin Wars calculator and while using 120 watts of power, that's probably what it's going to be using. So it could be more, it could be less, but it's like a guideline. And the power cost of America is an average of 0.1 dollars per kilowatt hours and the pool fee is mostly 1%. The hardware cost is $375 for the upgrade, including the unnecessary fans and the RX 470 and the RAM that we have bought. So when you click calculate, I'll review it, uh, you will see that this, this simple old 10 year old PC can make you about $100 a month. This means that within two or three months, this old computer has returned itself. Of course, it's gonna take a little bit more because the computer itself did cost some money in the past. But if I want to sell it right now, I will get like 20 bucks for it and that's it. So the return of investment, let's say it's four months at this very moment for a single graphics card and a simple upgrade. But I want you guys to make this little simple thing, an old computer or your game PC, and turn it into a mining rig and get some mining experience. Because then when you like know how to build mining rigs or how it's all doing and all going with the wallet and the miner download and how to edit everything, you can start off and building your big mining rigs and you're gonna start making bigger profits than 100 US dollars a month because if you have one gig ashes or 1000 mega ashes per second from all of your mining rigs these numbers will add up so this is just the first video and in the next video i'm going to show you how to install the graphics card into the computer and stuff it's going to be quite simple and then i'm going to show you how to install the drivers the wallets and also all the other things that you need but that's probably going to be when i am on my new studio and that's gonna be after Christmas so already Merry Christmas if I miss out on the Christmas videos because yeah it's gonna be really busy for me too with all the family and stuff I really don't have too much time for making videos then so hopefully you all enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one